Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, ah. No, no. You Be good. Hello everyone and welcome to the Kukali Bushcraft channel. Okay, so this video is in response to a question from a subscriber who was asking what is the best knife for this environment. So we're talking tiger forest up in the Arctic. Uh, so yeah, first off, there's not so many differences to uh, to most other environments if you're doing more or less the same kind of work but the other thing is what exactly are you going to be doing you know it's uh, what I've got with me at the moment underneath this belt NKD Timber 95 so one of the reasons I've got that is because when I get back home, I'm going to be doing uni, careful. When I get back home, I'm going to be doing some spoon carving. I've got a couple of guides uh, that are wanting to make spoons. So something that's kind of small and nimble uh, should be good for spoon carving. So... Yeah, but as if I was wanting to do some serious fire prep, there may be something a bit, a little bit bigger. We have got a full exposed tank, which is one difference when it gets cold, uh, because you can actually feel that in your hand. You can get, it's nice to have a good warm handle. Uh, but a full tank obviously is stronger, and you want your knife to be strong. But what actually breaks on a knife? Uh, you know, it's not just the tang. Wood scales, for example, can split. I've seen that happen. Tips break quite often. This has got quite a nice, quite a nice strong tip. I don't know how well you can see that. But uh, yeah, it's not just tangs that break. And also, yeah, I mean, people have been using finished porcos here with a stick tang for a very long time, most people have no problems. You know, most chopping tools that I can think of, bill hooks, uh, machetes actually tend to be full tang, but bill hooks tend to be stick tangs. The laukus that we have around here, also stick tangs. And you know, it depends on the thickness of the stick tang, particularly around about this area. And, you know, also how well fitted they are to the handle. You know, because it's very easy to drill a round hole and just stick a tang in there. You know? Uh, but yeah, something like this, it's a good little knife. And as to what's the best knife for this environment, I don't really have an answer for that. I did make, uh, I tried to make this video twice before, and I went through a whole load of knives going going over their strengths and weaknesses uh, but yeah so would you want to buy the most expensive knife that you can not necessarily uh, so this is the most expensive knife I've ever bought this is the Roca Corpus Autori and I find the edge is a little bit too hard and it tends to chip. Uh, so 63 on the Rockwell scale. Also, I've had an issue with the handle. I started to feel a little bit of movement in the blade and then eventually I noticed down, down the seam down here, it was actually coming away from the tang. So, and this is, yeah. I mean, it's quite a robust, thick, full tang knife. Uh, and the issue was with the handle coming away from the tang. 
what it's starting to do again now actually i fixed it with a bit of super glue and it held for quite a good long while uh, but i've put through many a more knife through the same kind of use that this has had and had absolutely no option no no problems uh, this actually is a really nice knife to use i like the grind nice high grind there uh, but yeah one of the things i think was this was one of the very very early ones you know uh i think they've maybe had a few teething problems with the design uh and hopefully they've put it right now but yeah they're, they're, they're trying to do something they try to do a outdoor survival tactical kind of knife uh, with a very finished style and I like what they're trying to do but yeah so what I do every day is work I always have a knife on me what I normally have is just a, a basic mora and uh, for bushcraft also I've used Mora knives just the cheap little Moras you know for longer than any other knife I've had absolutely no issues with them and I think they're great and this costs 12 euros uh, and the rocker knife is 130 euros so you know but do you want something more substantial than that there's a knife that I've been looking at and thinking about ever since it came out. I've never actually bought it, because it is a bit expensive, but it's the Mora Garberg. Made by Mora, I really think you can trust Mora. You know, the full tang. Uh, what put me off was, for one thing, I like Tarava, brands like that. I like Finnish brands because I'm in Finland also because I do knife reviews for YouTube and it's nice to actually show and promote knives from Finland where I live. Uh, but this, I'll probably never do a review of it. This I just bought, well it came through the post yesterday and uh, it's second hand and it looks like it's never been used absolute mint condition i think all they've done with it is put that fancy little lanyard on there so i think something like this or a terava yakari poco very similar knife a little bit cheaper i think this kind of knife you know nice robust handle uh, what i use the most actually particularly in the winter is uh, the m95 cc poco so it's got a rubberized handle as you've seen <laughs> they can fail i know we, i know you're bored uh but with the peltonen i've had no problems so i think if you're looking for a knife if you go for yeah a well respected brand and yeah as if you look for a scandi grind or a saber grind which would be my preference uh, I mean also Uni please <laughs> also it depends a lot on what else you're carrying if you're carrying an axe you don't necessarily need a full tang knife and uh, also are you going to be fishing are you going to be doing food prep are you hunting uh, so you might want a higher grind that's better for food prep or you might want to carry in your pocket a little folder okay so not all that uni move please 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 i know i know i know you're bored yeah so this was a present from a friend of mine jaw in portugal it's a portuguese folding knife very simple very basic full flat grind easy to sharpen razor sharp so for food prep i like to have a folder
obviously not very hygienic to have a folder for that but i don't do much food prep so you know it doesn't need to occupy very much space right so best knife for the for the environment i really don't know it really depends entirely on what you're doing okay so let's sum up uh it depends on what you're doing as if you haven't got an axe with you and you're doing firewood prep a substantial tang is definitely advisable you want a strong tip something that's uh, heavy duty enough but still nimble in the hand you know not too cumbersome uh, good steel decent heat treatment and if you're buying a knife just watch a few videos you know that's what we're making them for <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching everybody and give us a thumbs up drop us a comment tell me what your best knife is for the environment that you're operating in uni's got to go because she's bored <laughs> and uh, let's go and find that trail camera hey that's around here somewhere okay i'll see you later thanks for watching bye